Holy Rood State Residents and Tenants Association. We've been going since 2000. Before, I found I was a voice alone. Other people in their blocks were a voice alone. And it was difficult getting anything done, any acknowledgement of any problem. But being a, a, an association is power of the people, isn't it? More than one voice. There aren't any gardens here. We all have balconies, there are 468 flats. And we, we then had um, a day when we sowed everything that we'd grown. And it's a way of fostering community spirit, which is what it's all about. And in those gardens, we've had um, events events, music, a band we had at one event. It's uh, a focal point, rather like the long coloured pathway right the way through the estate. But what we want to do is plant bulbs once we've got the funding, because they cost a lot of money, in a sentence. Welcome to Holy Rood in red and white flowers. Celebrate St George's Day. The key thing about working with SBGN is you're working with people who live and breathe business every day. We've developed what we call trusted partners, which are other small businesses, and we bring those products and services to the group to support our customers. So people come to us, uh, at various kind of open events and we'll sit down and talk through their idea, talk about what it is that they're passionate about, what they want to achieve and what their vision is for their business and help them shape that and then put practical steps in place and work with them to develop a full business plan. Our ethos is really to be able to combine the skills that we have to, to kind of put a support network around people who want to start their own business perhaps to help them avoid some of the, the problems or mistakes that we made when we set up our business, but also to allow them to plug into a network of, of services, advice, marketing opportunities, because you know that takes time and takes a lot of effort. And we often said, well, we had to kind of work through it ourselves. It would be great if we could have plugged straight into a, a network of, of people who have that support and guidance. Uh, we're quite lucky in this city. There are four or five different funds at the moment that people can access finance through that can kind of accelerate them from being uh, a one-man band kind of working out of their home to getting to the stage where they, they might be renting an office, employing staff and moving to, to being a larger business. And that's what we want our, our clients to achieve. It's a centre where people over that age obviously come here and we, get, and we get together and meet and have a cup of tea and we do lots of things, craft stuff, um, bingo, quizzes and we also have outings and we have cream teas and we have um, a Christmas party. We don't get bored, let's put it that way, you never get bored here. So I've been retired for five years and I didn't really know anybody in this district. My life revo revolved around work and um, after joining this um, club I've got so many new friends now. And when I lost my wife 2005, well she done everything, cooking, washing, ironing, everything. I had the bloody clue how to cook and my children were very, very concerned and I came here and they teach me law. I went through and done the exercise for the cooking, passed with flying colors. I could be a chef now if I want, but I'm only doing for me. Well, it's done such a lot for me. You're not lonely because I'm on my own. I'm divorced. You know, you can get into a, a pit, a rut, where you think, oh, I sit indoors, I've got nothing to do. And I have so much to do now. I'm, not, I'm, I'm out five, six days a week. So you don't get lonely. So it's done a lot for me. On my honour and promise. On my honour and promise. To do my best. To do my best. To do my duty. To do my duty. To do my duty. To my God and my Queen. To my God and my Queen. Help other people. Help other people. And keep scout law. And keep scout law. Keep scout law.
Okay. I'm, I'm Colin Floyd, I'm the District Commissioner for Southampton City District. I'm a great believer in giving something back, having been a scout all my life. The adult volunteers are what makes scouting happen, and that's what scouting does. It encourages people to collectively come together and do something. My name's Sam, I started off as a scout and I've moved up to a leader. I really enjoy doing it and I became a leader to help the kids out. So I really respected my leaders for helping me, so it's good to give something back. I just love going on camps with everyone. It's like a really nice atmosphere and we get to like, um, do lots of different activities and stuff. The badge work and that is fun as well. And I think the leaders that adults are really important because they help us to be organised and be what we are today. Without them we'd just be a load of noisy kids running around in the hall. It's all down to volunteer work. We need all the help we can get. There's an awful lot of things that the Avenue Multicultural Centre supports people in. When they come over to this country, when they don't know whether they're going to get asylum, become a refugee officially or not. That's a worrying time for people. And of course, they need help financially as well. And they need help with friendship. So every Friday, from about 10 until 12, I make my duty to come here regularly. <laughs> but music's quite a healing thing as well. And some of the people who come here have been through some pretty bad experiences. And the people downstairs, the Red Cross, Southampton and Winchester Visitors Group, they can help with some of the practical stuff, the supporting stuff. And then people can come up here and sing and play and remember that not all the world is hard. But really, it's somewhere that people can come, that they know that they're going to be okay, that people will look forward to seeing them, that they won't be a problem or a difficulty or a threat, but just people. And that's really the best thing about the AMC, that it recognises the value of each and every person. started about 12 years ago now. We have four projects going out four days a week. We have Tai Chi tomorrow afternoon, drop in on Wednesday morning, and then chair exercises Wednesday afternoon. So we're pretty busy, but we do manage to provide quite a bit on Thorn Hill. I really enjoy being on Wednesday because um, it, it makes you feel good. I think it's a good thing that we do have a, a community centre in Thornton Hill and community centres are a very British occupation and they seem to bring people together, people who care. I know I care a lot about people that I look after. Um, we've got their interests at heart and if we can help them and see a smile on their face then that is important to us. It makes it worthwhile. Yeah, I think community centres are more of a British, actually more of an English thing. But it's very, very useful because you meet all sorts of people. My husband died last February and I was very lonely. And I thought I need to do something. I heard about Thorn and I started coming and I made some smashing friends. We fill a lot of gaps that um, are now left because of council cutbacks. And they look to the volunteer sector really to fill those gaps. My name is Rosie Saki and uh, I'm the manager here at Avaz FM. We came on air a few weeks ago and we're really excited with what we're doing. Basically what we do is for community. We have multi-language here, multi-language presenter doing multi-shows from Persian, Latin, Pashto, Urdu, Punjabi. Our aim is basically to keep the community updated at the same time, keep them entertained. Tap or tap or tap, fish fish, fossil, and cambish. Mofaro, Rimish.
Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that Punjabi gana. My name is Nalini Luka and I am a presenter of the Awas FM. Awas FM has given me a lot of confidence uh, and uh, opportunity to become a radio presenter, which I never knew how to present and Awas FM taught me how to present a show. I was doing for the community, you know, to share different cultures, to more understand each other. And this is the reason we share, starting with music, starting with our culture, our way for the living. When I was on the top <laughs> It's basically a charity um, radio station. Everybody who works here is completely volunteering, giving their time free of charge. And all because just to entertain the community and just to bring out the information, the events that, that are happening in other culture. So we're just trying to cover everything up and uh, that's about it. So street passers are out and you'll see us around offering reassurance, safety support through listening, caring and helping. You know, when people drink, they don't realise how vulnerable they are and how open to crime they might be. You lose awareness of what's around you. And so as street passers, we try and help people get themselves to better places, to places where they'll be with other people and they would be much safer and less likely to be a victim of crime. And there'll be practical things we do to love and serve our city. We pick up glass and broken bottles. Over 20,000 bottles have been picked up in the last five years. We've given out nearly 4,000 pairs of flip-flops just to the ladies who might be walking along bare feet and are in danger of cutting their feet. Another thing that you'll see the street passers do is calm uh, difficult situations. We try and be a positive presence. It could be a fight's about to break out and we manage to intervene and bring a calming presence to those situations. So street passers are there all times of the day and night, whenever we can be volunteering to love and serve our city in practical ways, being a listening ear, supportive, affirming and encouraging. <laughs>